if you're one of these people who's concerned about all these free shooters, like if you're concerned about somebody who has no portfolio, no status, no experience, no none of that stuff, if the work that they produce is exactly the same as yours and that's all you're competing on, then yeah, you should be concerned. You should be scared because that's not good enough to build a business. What's up guys, Ryan here at Signature Edison. and inside of this video we are unpacking a very, very well debated topic at this point, which is should you shoot for free, yes or no. Now, you got people on both camps, people who say yes, say yeah, you should be building your portfolio, you should be getting an education, you should be gaining experience, you should be developing your brand, and all these things can happen when you do it for free. So you're not doing it for free, you're actually getting all of these different things. Whereas people who say no say, okay, well, you're hurting the industry. And if you shoot for free, you're known as the person who just shoots for free. So you are a low, low value, you're positioning yourself as just not being worth much. Um, so you're hurting the industry, you're positioning yourself as low value, and you're, I guess, wasting time. So which is it? Yes or no? Well, Honestly, I would say the answer would depend, but the answer doesn't depend. The answer is you should be shooting for free, period. Full stop. That's all there is to it. Like, I don't get why people debate this because it's so obvious when you want an education, if you want to be a doctor, you want to be a lawyer, you want to be a painter, you want to be a plumber, it does not matter. In all of those situations, you are going to pay to learn. Imagine a painter just trying to charge for their work right away. Are they going to just, you know, say, hey, $1,000 for a painting. I have no idea what I'm doing. It's going to look like crap. But about $1,000, you pay me, and then I will slowly gain portfolio, and eventually I'll charge a million bucks a painting. No, they're going to find an apprenticeship of some kind. They're going to find a mentor. They're going to go to school, whatever it is. Doctor, lawyer, they're going to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to learn how to do what they do at a world-class level. And then they're going to go out and do it and get rewarded for the thing that they've learned how to do, okay? Plumbers, same thing. Yeah, they do an apprenticeship. They get paid during the apprenticeship, but they're also taking courses that they pay for, right? So as photographers, it is so silly. As creatives, we're like, no, I must get paid right away, even though my work is just meh, and I don't have any experience, and I don't have any portfolio, but you should trust me with your money. It's silly. It's stupid. It's non-debatable. You need experience. You need portfolio. You need to learn how to work with clients. You need to develop your brand. You need to get good at marketing. You need all of these different things to build and run a successful business, and yet people are like, nope, I should just be able to skip to the end. And I think that's kind of the issue, right, is everybody wants to be ripped. These are some amazing biceps, by the way. That's what I'm drawing. Everyone wants to be ripped. They want to be in amazing shape, but very few people want to actually do the push-ups. Look at that fitness icon right there. Most people don't want to do the push-ups. Most people just want to skip it right ahead. They don't want to go to the gym. They don't want to do the hard work, and they want the result. The bad news is there's no bypassing the work. And honestly, yeah, you could be charging for your work, but it's also going to slow you down. Like that's the problem in the start, right? You don't have portfolio. You don't have experience. You don't have reviews. You don't have um, all of these things that make a business work. And so when you say, I'm going to charge, all you're doing is you're just putting molasses inside of your, I don't know, your engine. <laughs> you're putting molasses in your rocket ship. And so it's going to take a lot longer to get where you're trying to go because very few people are, people are going to trust you off the bat. And the thing is, when I actually talk to my photography friends, right, people who are doing amazing work for amazing brands or people who are doing amazing work in the field of wedding photography or whatever it is, all of these people, every single one without a doubt, started off shooting for free. I kid you not, every single one. Why? Because they had no portfolio. Okay, now we've kind of hit that point home, why you should shoot for free, what you get out of it. But let's talk about the other side of the coin, right? The people who say, no, you're hurting the industry. Okay, fair enough. I'll say if everybody charged less and then it's just we're all competing on price, it's a race to the bottom. Yeah, fair enough. That's not helpful. So that's not entirely what's going on here because who buys a free service at the end of the day? Like who is it who's doing that? People who are shopping for deals. People who don't really value your work. 
people who just don't have the budget to pay somebody anyways. And so they never would regardless, right? So think about Gucci. Gucci makes purses, shirts, whatever. They're extremely expensive. So we're talking like 10K for a purse. Now, is Gucci super concerned about Walmart and what they're doing to the industry of purses by selling purses for $30? No, Gucci doesn't care. Why? Because Gucci knows that their purse is a superior product. It's a better product, better materials, better branding, better status, right? So they're not actually positioning their products just based on like, hey, this is a purse, it works. And then Walmart's like, we have a purse that works too. And people are like, oh, I'll go with the Walmart one because they both work. No, you're buying a Gucci purse because of the status, because of the superior materials, because of the workmanship, because of the exclusivity. So when you're building your photography business, yeah, you can be shooting for free and you can be competing with people who are paid. But do you really think if you're one of these people who's concerned about all these free shooters, like if you're concerned about somebody who has no portfolio, no status, no experience, no none of that stuff, if the work that they produce is exactly the same as yours and that's all you're competing on, then yeah, you should be concerned. You should be scared because that's not good enough to build a business. The best businesses in the world don't focus on just creating a product. They focus on separating themselves from every other product out there. And how you do that? Well, it's be, by competing on things that are more than just price. Because price is always, and this doesn't matter whether it's someone shooting for free or somebody shooting for uh, just 200 bucks less than you, price is always a race to the bottom. Like if that's all you are competing on, that's what's going to wind up happening because I charge this much, so you charge a little bit less. So then I lower my prices a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, right? And everybody in the industry collectively takes themselves down. Okay, yeah, that can happen. That's real if, if you're competing on price. Now let's look at some famous photographers, okay? So we've got Jimmy Chu, amazing outdoor commercial photographer, has huge deals with amazing companies, does incredible work. But do you think he's just competing on the work? Like first off, his work is A+. plus. So like most people can't shoot like Jimmy even if they wanted to. Like there's a handful of people out there who can. So that's like point number one. If you are expecting to get paid for your work or you're concerned about people who are shooting for free taking your work, if your work isn't good enough to set you apart, you have bigger problems than somebody else shooting for less than you. Like, that's not the issue here. The issue is that your work needs to improve, not that they need to start charging more so that your work all of a sudden looks like a deal. That's not the deal. Okay, so Jimmy Choo, he's got A-plus work, but he's also got a brand. He tells his unique story within that brand. Like, no one shoots it like him because no one sees things the same way as him. He's got this unique style about him. Let's look at another one. So we've got Annie Leibovitz. We'll go Annie L because I can't spell that. Uh, she does incredible kind of fantasy portraits, right? And so, again, her work is top-notch. It's not with a K or no. I don't know. Her work is amazing. That's the point. Her work is amazing, but it's also very creatively different. She set herself up because nobody can shoot like Annie. If you want Annie's work, you have to hire Annie. That's it. Full stop. There's nobody else that shoots like Annie. There are people who are similar, but no one can pull off Annie Leibovitz the way that Annie Leibovitz can pull it off. Do you do that with your photography? If you're charging and worried about free people, probably it's because you're doing the exact same kind of work as they are. And now I have to ask you, why is that? Why are you positioning yourself as just, I do this for this much money and like there's nothing that makes me unique? Not a great business strategy. Not a great marketing strategy. Let's look at one more or two more. We got Ann Getz. She does all those photos with all the little babies in the tub. That's a baby. It's in a tub, and it's happy. Okay. Now, if you want and gets, you have to buy or hire and gets. That's it. Other people started taking photos of babies. Now, here's the interesting part. Other people will always copy you. Copycats are always going to figure out what you're doing if it's working and do the same thing. But the thing is... Nobody can shoot it like Ann Getz because she found that first. That was her style. That's what she got known for. That's how she separated herself. And it doesn't matter how many copycats hit the market. She's still going to be book solid because she is the original, the OG, the deal, right? There are lots of car companies. There's only one Ferrari. There's lots of jewelry companies. There's only one uh, Tiffany's. 
So it's not so much about the work. The work is incredibly important, but separating yourself and becoming unique, like that is the key piece here. And so should you work for free? Yes. Yes, you should. Because by working for free, you don't have the limits of a paid client. When a client pays you, you lose creative freedom. You say, okay, I'm going to do exactly what you want because you're paying me to do exactly what you want. I mean, once you get to the point where they're coming to you, you can say, this is how I work. This is what I do. If you want it, great. If you don't, whatever. But the bottom line is when you are shooting for free, you can just get rid of your limits. You can say, okay, I'm going to shoot this for free, but I'm going to do it my way. And because you can do that, now you can find your creative style. You can develop it and you can also build portfolio, of course, in a low stress environment. You can gain experience, all those other things. But the main thing is f- the freedom inside of free, right? Free is just short for freedom. Now you can do whatever you want and you can rework your work and figure out, okay, what makes me unique? What is my style? Let's test some different things. Let's be creative here. Like there's more possibility than if you're doing paid work in a very small little box. So hopefully this is resonating with you. I think we've kind of driven the point home. Like, should you shoot for free? My opinion, absolutely yes. And we can debate it in the comments. People say, Ryan, you're an idiot. Ryan, you missed this. Ryan, what about that? Honestly, I'm just going to say 100%, you should shoot for free. Every photographer I've ever talked to has worked for free and built an amazing portfolio out of it, has wound up far richer than if they had tried to be scroungy and just not shot anything. Like you need to get out and shoot. You need to build your portfolio. You need to get better as a photographer. You need to become world-class at your craft. You need to help more people. Because when you help more people, you get known as the person who helps people. And the more effective you are at that, the more network and referrals and all the stuff that that leads to. Because at the end of the day, again, Jimmy Choo, we'll just go back, or, and all these other guys, They do you think they spend a lot of money on marketing? Do you think they spend a ton of time saying, hmm, how am I going to like increase my followers on social media? Like maybe they do spend some time, but at the end of the day, they're at a point where clients come to them. Now, why do the clients come to them? Because they're known for their work and they're known for the experience they provide and they've got a network of people. So when Jimmy picks up the phone, it's like, hey, it's so-and-so from blah, blah, blah. I got your info from... XYZ company who's worked with in the past. Like that's how the industry works as a whole is it's like, it's who, not how. It's who you know, not how you do what you do. So at the end of the day, if you have the right who's who know you, who are in your corner, who are fighting for you, who are impressed by you, who are talking about you, then marketing can sometimes just take care of itself, honestly, and you can charge whatever you want because there's only one Jimmy Choo, right? Go, Jimmy. We all love you. Okay, so if this video was helpful, I hope you will do me a favor. Hit the like button. If you disagree, hit the dislike button. Leave a comment below. What's your thoughts? What did I miss? Let's talk. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video. Create something awesome. Peace.